Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Kone T16M because we designed this controller for the tiny version it's very small and will save your space so we call it T16M the M that means it's 16 channel MOSFET output so that's called the tiny version of 16 channel MOSFET output uh, smart controller and in this video I will show you some hardware design details and how it works okay let's look at my computer and you can see uh, this is T16M and this also you can see support uh, by ESP home uh, because we use this ESP32 S3 and also use the large memory size N16 R8 the chip and the power of watch support 12 watt to 24 volt DC and there are some free GPL uh, 7 free GPL you can use for sensor you can use for one wire device and you can connect with our 4G module uh, by this GPL and also support the install on the DIN rail and the software solution that you can download the KCS V3 firmware the V3 firmware is very powerful and you can download the firmware by ESP Home and integrate to Home Assistant and also you can write your Arduino source code and also you can write the code up, uh, by the ESP IDF development tool uh, for your own requirement and you can see the ESP32 IO pin define and the ESP Home YAML file uh, all have listed here you can see in our form you will see have a T16M just at here and you will find uh, how, to, how to use this uh, by the ESP Home YAML uh, just download and direct it to use and the ESP32 pin define at here uh, pin define at here and the Arduino source code you can see every hardware resource how to use the demo source code at here you can click for anyone and you will see the demo source code and you will see the bin file you just download it to ESP32 and directly to use and also you will, you will see this uh, source code uh, you can modify in Arduino ID and this is the bin file you just can directly to use okay let's look at this hardware design details and we will open this box and look at the PCB board inside you can see this is King Kony A16 board before we have designed uh, some years ago and you can see we have designed this new version A16 V3 the V3 used by ESP32 S3 this board will release soon this already have finished development and also we have designed this B16M that is the DIN rail stand size uh, that can easy to install on the DIN rail power distribution box at here so this is B16M and now you can see we have designed this T16M so you can see uh, this is very small the tiny version so you can see if I put all board together and you will see uh, this only cost a little space just you can see uh, this one so you can see we have designed the new version for save the space you can see uh, save the space so if I give you see this two board uh, this is B16M and this is T16M so you will see uh, that is the size you can see I think that, that can save many space in your power distribution box okay let's look at I will show you the size in details Okay, you can see uh, this is the size of this direction and this direction. Uh, do you see the size? This direction and this one. You can see uh, this one. 
is this size. So this part is very small. And uh, you can see uh, this is the output, MOSFET output 16 channel at this terminal. And this is the Wi Fi antenna for ESP32 S3. And the reset button and download button and the Ethernet port. And the USB C cable for download firmware uh, by ESP Home or by Arduino or by ESP IDF. And also download the KCS firmware by this USB C cable. And this you can see the 16 channel digital input. The digital input also we have designed for long distance uh, support uh, 500 meter for the cable. And this have an IS485 interface, IS485 A and B. So you can use IS485 uh, sensor or other device. And this I.O. different GPIOs at here. That have seven free GPIOs to use. You can connect with your sensor or other device. And the power from 12 volt to 24 volt. Okay, uh, you can see this is T16M. Now I will open this box and let you see the inside PCB board. Okay, now this is the cover. We can open the cover. And you will see uh, this have two PCB. And this one is LD PCB board. At the top, I can see the fixed. And uh, the chip, you can see the ESP32 S3. And we can also open this plastic shoe, open this screw. And take a part of it and move out the PCB board. And you will see uh, this is in front of T16M and this is back. And you will see uh, this is Ethernet chip W5500, the Ethernet chip. And uh, this for input and this for output. And you can see the PCB. Uh, this will have a cable have connect with this SMA socket. This will have a cable and the I2C chip, I/O extended chip. So this is uh, high quality. We have designed. Just we design this board becomes small, very small. Uh, you can see uh, this is very small. We have reduced the delete the 2 year module uh, from this B60M and this board uh, uh, is very good for ESP home and for input and for output and some free GPIO you can connect with a DS18B20 temperature sensor or DHT11, DHT2 sensor so it's enough for you to use and you can use DIY this board uh, by your code it also is very well okay this is T16M 